welcome to Short Review is Short, the review series in which I review books, TV, films, whatever, in less than two minutes. Today, Ernest Klein's The Importance of Being Earnest. Not to be confused with the fantastic Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest. I've also reviewed that, you can check that out down, I've linked it down there, or around here. Okay, let's get to this review. Ernest Klein is the author of one of my favourite books ever, Ready Player One. But Ernest Klein was also an active member of the Austin, Texas Poetry Slams. The success of his debut novel, Ready Player One, prompted the publishing of this gorgeous new edition. With cover art by Gary Musgrave, and great illustrations inside by Len Peralta. This is a collection of, like Ready Player One, beautifully nerdy, funny, and satirical poetry. Though the references to AOL and Jerry Springer might feel a bit dated, the poems are still masterpieces that demand to be read aloud as if it's still at a poetry slam. Ernie rants and Ernie ponders and Ernie makes you want to read these things over and over again. This collection of poetry is well worth the money. But if you don't want to fork out the $15 for it, most of the poems can be found on Ernie Klein's website, ErnieKlein.com. Also you can find his spoken word album, Ultraman is Airwolf, where you can find him reading these poems at actual poetry slams. I love this collection, so I gave it four 4.5 out of 5. The missing 0.5 is simply because I wish there were more. I just couldn't get enough of these poems. To give you a little taste of it, I want to read to you one of the poems because I love them. These are really good poems and I'm going to read you my favourite poem from the collection, which is his poem, Tech Support. Hello, you've reached technical support. Yes, this is technical support. Thank you for calling technical support. This is Ernie. My name is Ernie. I am the one that they call Ernie. Ernie speaking. How may I help you? How may I help you this evening? What seems to be the problem? Is your computer generating an error message? Well, when did this happen? How did it happen? What in the hell did you do to it? My God, what the fuck have you done? Relax. It's cool. I'll help you. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. All day, all night, just a big fat twitching brain wired up to a telephone waiting to answer every goddamn computer related question that you have. You need my help and I'm here to help you. Now tell me what's wrong. It's the internet, right? You need to get on the internet, boot it up, jacked in, online. It's imperative. And I understand, I mean after all, the internet is a revolutionary means of communication that can decentralise power by providing everybody with a voice. This is the only true free medium of global information exchange and is not controlled by any one organisation, corporation, government or media cartel. But you just want to download pictures of Gillian Anderson's pussy, right? You want to send email. You want to send email to Jerry Springer. You're just dying to visit Stone Cold Steve Austin's website. The entire world is at your fingertips and this is the best you can come up with? You want stock quotes, bomb schematics, bestiality centerfolds. You want the pseudonym HotCock007 to pick up Japanese schoolgirls on AOL. But you can't, can you, Captain Caveman? Because computer is broken. And the problem could be hardware, software, fucking Tupperware, for all you know. Christ, you can't even remember your own passwords, you're in over your head. You're five kinds of stupid and you want somebody to hold your hand and tell you exactly what to do. Help me, Ernie. Save me, Ernie. Fix it, Ernie. Ernie, kiss my hard drive and make it better. Relax. You're in good hands. I can help you. The internet is my bitch. The computer and I are one. I speak its language. I'm like fucking Tron. Don't worry, gato, Mr. Roboto. You see, it's a manifest destiny. This is my job, this is what I do. The imposition of order on chaos, system on fact, classification on data. I measure time in bits, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, terabytes. The future has teeth. And you're seeing all of your worst fears about technology come true. Not only this big brother watching you, he knows your pin number. Welcome, my son, to the machine. Your fate is being decided by forces that you cannot even begin to comprehend. And you feel like a hairless pink fetus floating in a plexiglass bathtub somewhere deep inside the matrix. But don't worry, Copper Top, it's cool. You've reached technical support, this is technical support. Thank you for calling technical support. This is Ernie speaking. I have a review for you of When Mr. Dog Bites by Brian Conahan tomorrow. I really enjoyed that book, so look forward to that, and I'll see you tomorrow.